On the 6th of August, 1945, an aircraft took off that would make history. On board, a weapon with unprecedented destructive power. Its goal, Hiroshima. The discovery of nuclear fission made this bomb possible. Never before in the history of mankind has science created an instrument capable of extinguishing humanity. This was made possible by nuclear fission. She felt responsible for developing the American atom bomb and also for its use. Of course, she suffered. Dear Otto, it's not easy to put into words the greatest monstrosity that has happened to me since my escape from Germany. The Americans have dropped this new bomb on a city in Japan, a bomb that is based on our knowledge of nuclear fission. Today, a reporter appeared in front of my house and wanted to know how I feel as the mother of the atomic bomb. I feel hurt and polluted. All I did with you was describe a physical process. Lisa Meitner was the scientist who discovered nuclear fission. She never received a Nobel Prize, but an element on the periodic table was named in her honor. She was born in 1878 in Vienna, the capital of Austria, and her family was Jewish. At that time, only a few women were allowed access to higher education, and Lisa was one of them. She even obtained a doctorate from the University of Vienna. Later, she moved to Berlin, where she took classes with the physicist and mathematician Max Planck, who was recognized as one of the great scientists of the time for laying the foundations of quantum theory. She later met the chemist Otto Hahn, with whom she worked for approximately 30 years, conducting experiments with radioactive materials. Among their collaborations, one research on the properties of chemo stands out, as well as the discovery of protactinium, a metallic element on the periodic table. Over time, both were recognized within the scientific community. Even Albert Einstein expressed his admiration for the work of Dr. Meitner, comparing it to that of the scientist Marie Curie, a Nobel laureate in both physics and chemistry. She later became a physics professor at the University of Berlin, but had to leave her position when Hitler came to power. She fled the country and moved to Sweden. There, she continued to communicate with Hahn through letters and occasional face-to-face -face meetings where they shared the results of their experiments. In one of these meetings, they discovered that by adding neutrons to uranium atoms, they could split into lighter elements, contrary to the previous belief that they would become heavier. Dr. Meitner calculated the energy released during this process and, along with her nephew, physicist Otto Frisch, described nuclear fission. This work later enabled the development of nuclear weapons. Otto Hahn published the research results without including the name of Dr. Meitner as a co-author. In 1944, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences recognized him with the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for this project. Lisa Meitner never received a Nobel Prize, but she was invited to participate in an international group of scientists in the Manhattan Project, a research effort during World War II to develop an atomic bomb. She refused to get involved and criticized those who used her research for the creation of weapons. In 1966, she was awarded the Enrico Fermi Medal, a prize given by the U.S. government to scientists for their work related to the use and production of energy. After some time, Meitner moved to Cambridge, England, where she passed away in 1968. More than 10 years later, German researchers discovered a chemical element and named it Meitnerium in recognition of the scientist's career. Today, Lisa Meitner is the only woman in history to have an element on the periodic table named in her honor.